the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Like many conferences, the name doesn't necessarily reflect the reality. It doesn't reach farther west than Texas, but reaches as far east as the eastern coast of Florida. So Southeastern Athletic Conference would technically be more accurate. It does however have the highest average attendance in FCS football. So you make your own mind up which is more important. Obviously the latter, let's just get straight into it. A.W. Mumford Stadium, Southern Jaguars. Oh, sorry, Southern Jaguars. Well, straight away we see a stadium that's unlike most college football stadiums. Yeah, the running tracks are more prevalent in the FCS, but there's also something about the way each stand curves at the ends that sets it apart. Not to mention the northern stand, which is rather nice. Since these shots were taken, they have installed synthetic turf, and you can probably see why. Oh, and FYI, it's just a short elephant right away from Tiger Stadium. I say elephant because they're good swimmers, and they never forget directions. BBVA Stadium, Texas Southern Tigers. Okay, I said the last one was atypical for college football, but this one wasn't even made for college football. It is of course the home of Houston Dynamo of the MLS. It does have one of my favorite exteriors in the world. Not just the cool geometric design, but that orange and silver color combination looks incredible. It may not be a true college football stadium, but that is a plus in some respects. There is a decent amount of shaded seating, and of course those are chairback seats. You could say they're unlucky that they don't have their own stadium, but I don't know. I think they're pretty lucky to play here. Bragg Memorial Stadium, Florida A&M Rattlers. You may have heard of Fort Bragg, and guess what, this place has actually got nothing to do with that. It's a fairly straightforward design, consisting of these two symmetrical curved stands. I like how it perfectly lines up with the building over there. Wait a second. It doesn't. It's like five feet off. That, no, that, that's really annoying. I hear they're planning on building a new stadium, perhaps that's why. Almost certainly not. Kaysom Spinks Stadium, Alcorn State Braves. When you look at this place from 20 miles in the air, it's very hard to believe that there's actually a stadium with over 20,000 seats nestled among the trees. That's something I love about college football, you just wouldn't see that anywhere else in the world. It seems to be quite a tranquil spot to watch football, especially from the big stand to the west where you get an expansive view. I quite like the landscaping behind each end zone as well. Eddie Robinson Stadium, Grambling State Tigers. I mentioned the landscaping at the last one, but this stadium is all about the landscaping. It gives new meaning to the phrase sunken bowl. I mean, look at the view from the parking lot. All but the very top of the upper deck is hidden. That's kind of cool. The completely sunken design gives it the unfortunate nickname of the hole. I would have preferred the crater myself, but it's not up to me. Lewis Cruz Stadium, Alabama A&M Bulldogs. I thought it was strange that the Missouri Valley had a stadium in a town called Normal, but I guess it's completely normal because there's a normal in Alabama as well. As someone mentioned in the comments, it's named after the university itself. This one was known as the State Normal and Industrial School of Huntsville. And once again, the landscaping is on point. It's definitely easy on the eye, this stadium. One downside is that the stands here are especially far from the action. Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium, Jackson State Tigers. Wowzers, he's a big boy. That 60,000 plus capacity is quite impressive because we're not in a densely populated area like Harlem or Hollywood, it's Jackson, Mississippi. But unlike Bruno Mars, this stadium doesn't worry too much about its appearance. It's a no-nonsense stadium with a split-level single-tier horseshoe, and there's no fancy facade, just bare concrete. It does leave it looking very monochromatic, but that's not such a big deal on game day. Its future is in doubt as Jackson looks to potentially build a new stadium on campus. Don't believe me? Just watch. This space. Watch this space. Daytona Municipal Stadium. Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. If you're like me and have a curious mind, you might be wondering why the stadium is so... elongated. 
I mean, even if it had a running track, that's still too long. Well, it turns out it used to host flat track motorcycle events, but not anymore. I'm not sure what they were thinking really. I've done the research and trust me, no motorsports venue would ever survive in Daytona. There just isn't the demand for it. I do really like their horse racing venue though. It was a strange choice to go for a concrete track, but I guess that's for drainage purposes. Anyway, the odd shape doesn't affect the spectators because the only seating is on the sidelines, as you can see. ASU Stadium, Alabama State Hornets. This one has a good argument for being the best in the conference. It has a bit of everything. An upper deck here, a grassy hill here, and a small section of chairback seats. Also, I think it's the first appearance of a grand brick facade so far, which is common in the larger stadiums. And it might become a large stadium one day. You can sort of just tell by looking at those wide concourses that it has the potential to expand in the future if need be. But for now, it's the third largest in the conference. Panther Stadium, Prairie View A&M Panthers. It's even newer than the last one and it's actually quite similar. It too has a rather nice brick facade on the main stand, as well as a grass berm at one end. But, well, that's about all the similarities. This one has a double decker stand on both sides, even though it's smaller. The hits of brick throughout, particularly the administration building behind the north end zone, combined with the splashes of purple here and there, really does make for a great looking stadium. Rice Totten Stadium, Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. It's quite similar to the one in Daytona, but even more stripped down to its essentials. But actually, the exposed steel of the exterior combined with the floodlight towers that look like cell towers creates a bit of an industrial look, which is interesting. But I'm not going to try and say it's an amazing stadium. Simmons Bank Field, Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Now this one's unlike any we've seen so far. Okay, it's not that unusual, but the major difference is that lower section of those black chairback seats, which are a great addition. And they just make a huge difference to the overall look of the stadium. It would have looked fairly basic otherwise. As with many stadiums in this conference, the natural grass was recently replaced with synthetic turf. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.